going to lay hands upon Saul. Saul immediately, having spent time praying, because the Bible clearly states that he was praying, immediately from the scales falling off of his eyes, the next thing he thought of was that I need to share this new experience with some people. And so we find Saul going to the synagogue and preaching, arguing with people, and each subsequent conversation which he had he was getting stronger why he was learning growing and his 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 message was becoming stronger after a point people um was he trying to do but at the end of the day they found out because they took him straight to the apostles where if you are lying to the holy ghost you drop dead so they took him to the apostles and as saul related that this and this is what is going on at the end of the day to the glory of god Saul uh, was able to be seen to be a genuine Christian, was accepted into the fold, learned all that the apostles as well, grew in understanding, grew in um, the, the principles of God. And at the end of the day, he was able to speak very clearly. After a point, um, contention rose again. He was sent away, sent to Caesarea where Philip was, as Philip the Tetrarch, Philip the Evangelist. Philip the great man. So he was sent there. And after some time, he was now sent to Tarsus because as a um, Tarsus um, citizen, he was a Roman citizen because Tarsus, that area, was under the con um, protection of Rome. So he was a Roman citizen. And so a Jew could not kill a Roman. So there they knew Paul will be safe.